things to look out for to see if a cooker is dangerous or not. Is your hob or your gas cooker too close to an electric socket or an electric cable or a few spur? Is the cooker lower than the worktop and does the worktop show signs of scorching? Always make sure the cooker is the correct distance away from kitchen units. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for the distances away from combustible material, such as kitchen cupboards. Is the cooker level and stable? Is the cooker clean and in good condition? Hmm, guess this one isn't then. If your cooker has a glass lid, make sure when you close the lid when the burner's lit, it actually knocks the burner off. Are any of the internal glass panels on the inside of the doors missing? And are the door seals in good condition? Not broken or missing. Are the control knobs for the gas taps in good condition? And are they clearly marked to say what they actually operate? Is a cooker or hob being protected with silver foil? Hopefully it's not. You can't be a bit of ingenuity, but I would like to be cooking when my washers go in. I don't think a bit of garden hose and silicone and a jubilee clip meets the criteria of BS669 for a cooker hose. It's good to see the correct gas isolation valve was used, but who the hell has connected a hob up with a flexible tap connector? So this cooker hose might be looking upwards instead of downwards, but that's not the worst bit. Mmm, push fit fittings on gas. Well, we said don't have the cooker hob too close to an electrical socket. What about resting your gas pipe on the actual socket itself? Remember, cooker hoses need to look down, not to the side or up. They also need to be at least 750mm off the floor or to manufacturer's instructions. And the hose cannot touch the floor. It's also got a bit of corrosion on this pipe. Stability chains are designed to be connected to the wall, not to the gas pipe. A gas cooker cannot be installed in a bathroom or a shower room. And if a gas cooker is installed in a bedsit, the bedsit must be greater than 20 meters cubed in volume. Or if it's less than that, you could have a single ring or hot plate. But the best thing for a bedsit would be, even though it pains me to say, get an electric cooker. And finally, always make sure the cooker has its correct ventilation. And that also includes making sure it has an openable window, which opens direct to outside. Not in a conservatory. <laughs>